I'm Dougie. And Jim. And this is Truck 180. We are knee deep in our OBS build. It's a 1993 Chevy Silverado short bed that we're doing an LS swap. Maybe a couple other things. Uh, maybe a little whistle little, action. A little boosty boost. Uh, we've already pulled the motor, uh, cleaned the frame up as far as stripped it. Uh, we're getting ready to do suspension, everything else after this. What are we doing today, Jim? Well, kind of build into it. Um, we, our original intent was to get the frame to sandblast and powder coat. Right. Uh, that didn't work out. And on, just because schedules didn't happen, you know, yeah. life happens. We're, we all have full-time jobs. There's full-time business. We can't expect to get a lot of things. But it's all right. So plan B was to, we looked into poor 15. Poor 15, paint over rust, uh, was it, I don't know. So salt, corrosives, uh, chemicals, rust, you name it. It is a non-porous impervious surface. Yeah, so it'll take, uh, and what I did, I, I watched some videos. I had a friend of mine tell me to get some, get some, Eastwood had some, but I couldn't get a hold of any, so Poor 15 was available on Amazon. We'll pop the link in there for that stuff. Um, but he said, spray it. And I looked at some videos to how to do this, and I watched a guy that just used a brush and brushed it on. And it self-leveled. I went on nice and smooth and easy. It didn't splatter everywhere. It didn't get spray anywhere from a can or a, a gun. And it looked great. So it looked just as good as doing a powder coat on it. Oh, well, mm -hmm. we're gonna give it a shot. Yeah. So you, you might notice that things are a little out of order. Uh, we've got some new camera and audio set up. We screwed up the intro yesterday. So this is technically day two that we're filming this on. Let's get to showing them yesterday and us pressure washing the frame. Yeah, we pressure washed it yesterday. Uh, so it's kind of backwards today. We're going, we got it back yeah. inside. I got everything stripped off of it, uh, more so than yesterday. Yeah. And then and, uh, send let's it. go. We'll take and uh, get the 415 started. All right, let's Then it cooled off. No, what? Now it's raining. This, folks, this is Texas. So we kind of waited out. Trying to get this knocked down some more. I mean, it's not bad. Fresh washing did a really good job. It took off most of what I expected. And I think it did better than what I expected.
All right, so we finished up, not finished up, but enough for today to where we did the, the pour 15 coat on the frame, top and sides and inside. Yeah, so once it cures, we're gonna flip it over, do the bottom side, hit all the stuff that we couldn't get from there. I'm really impressed. We were going back and forth on like the traditional black. Uh, we decided on the gray just because. Just to stand out, be different with it. Right. Let's kind of show it off this a little bit. It'll, and it'll match some things. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm worried about? What's up? Getting this off my hand. <laughs> it put gloves yeah. on. <laughs> so, dumb dumb here. Give me Decided dumb -dumb. that gloves were not a required item. It was merely a suggestion. He's now found out. It's not coming off. <laughs> yeah. It's not coming off. So we're hoping it'll be off in a couple years. A couple years. Uh, uh, I'm old, so even when the skin starts flaking off. I, I like it. It turned out good. Um, we'll do a little pans of this, and got a, you got know, a couple clips in this part of it. Yeah. Um, Overall, I'm happy. It's drying fast, too. Yeah. All right. It's going to look good. Well, I think that's uh, about all I got to say about that. Yeah. This has been Truck 180. Remember, stay addicted to Octane. <laughs>